Oh, just a quick video. We have just fixed our um, Waco CF60 lead up with a um, SDC 1000 12 volt controller that we had uh, lying around in the shed. And I'm no electrician, so this is just how I've wired it. Do your own research. But uh, if you do it this way, you will lose 240 and you'll also lose your warning light. But it's a really simple um, wire job and if you can solder a wire and you can crimp a wire then it's well within your reach. I looked at lots of other videos, a lot of them um, were a little bit hard to follow and there's quite a few of these different compressor control units. So mine is a um, Danfoss 101 N0500 um, and what I'll do is I'll step you through exactly how I wired it so that it's super clear. So I kept the proprietary plug um, and it's still got a um, cigarette lighter socket on it. I will probably change that out for an Anderson later. But what you need to do is you need to come through and you need to join that wire. And so the original wiring just came straight in off the back of the plug. That's the white positive and the black negative and they come straight into and retain the original wiring they go straight into the positive and into the negative on the compressor control unit but what the ones that I've spliced in do is they travel up and they come out the top to your new controller and that is your power in and out all of these controllers are slightly different but you'll have a power one that it needs to come in and out of. And then what you'll have is you'll have your load. So this is the one that will switch your compressor on and off. And then you'll have your, um, they call them thermistors. Luckily mine hadn't blown. They're a real pain to change. So I've used the thermistor that is, or the temperature sensor that was already in the fridge. And so that one goes in there. But First of all, power goes into here and it went into um, the positive and negative. And then when you come out with your load, the load goes back down and to your temperature controller, it goes into the T and the C. Okay, so that's these green ones here. The C is the top one. So I ran that as the positive out of the um, controller that I've, I've added. And the T is the negative. So that's coming out of the controller that I've added as well. So I've retained the wiring where possible here. So this is the original negative wire. That was the one that came straight from your 12 volt source that we spliced into that I talked about. And um, so that's the negative and the white one is the positive. And off the positive, this is one of those um, piggyback um, terminals the red wire here is the original and it goes to the fan and the earth or the the negative for the fan is this black one here and that goes into the f for fan um, terminal the two below it are the a and the c and what they do is that's for your light inside your fridge i didn't really want to lose that now these wires are the originals but when they come down in my fridge they followed down sort of with the other wires that came from the controller they went into the motherboard which was sort of on the back of the um the power in here so it connected to this thing here so what I've done is I've just um, cut those wires and we've just put um, terminals on them so that we can add them so positive goes to A negative goes to C and the um, lights working nicely in the fridge so it's pretty simple back up at the controller um, the last little bit that I didn't talk about was um, the thermistor or the temperature sensor that came with the fridge, it went into the back of the panel that, um, that's got the LED lights and everything on it that was all dead on mine. So I've just cut that and we've just put that straight in. Hopefully it's compatible with this SDC 1000. I'll um, tidy all of this up and get all the casings back together and then I will... Um, put it on a test for the night with a min max thermometer in it and make sure it's all working i've got some cool ideas off another video i'll put a link to the description down the bottom but basically that person had also 
chiseled out a nice sort of little spot for this controller to, to sit in. Um, and um, we'll give it a test run and see how it goes.